All right, guys, another unboxing video. I have a stack of stuff here that I want to show you guys. Uh, I have something from a trade I did off of Instagram, plus I purchased a few additional titles. I put all the titles from that one person in a box. A few viewer packages. Um, a couple friends of the channel sent me some things, so I'm going to dive into those. Um, um, a few Dollar Tree titles that were sent to me that somebody picked up for me. A Facebook title, a Disney movie reward, and the first thing we're going to talk about are enamel pins. So a bit of a different thing, um, but I want to mention this company. Uh, if you guys have never seen my backpack before, which you know what, give me give me one second. Um, I'll be right back and I'll stop the video and we'll come back. I'm here. Sorry about that. Um, so if you guys didn't know, I have a backpack here that I bring when I go hunting. Um, and what I mean by hunting is go movie shopping. I'm trying to figure out what's in it. It feels awfully heavy, but that could just be the pins, honestly. Um, so I have all sorts of enamel pins on my backpack and, um, I'll show you guys in a second here. So if you guys see my backpack here, I got back to the future. There's empire records. There's Quentin Tarantino, Emilio. We got good burger empire records. We have cinema sickness pin and Eagles pin, La La Land, a wrestling buddy, Hogan, uh, pin, a down to movie pin. My sister made for me double dare Marvin, the Martian blockbuster video. Childish Gambino, a Jay and Silent Bob secret stash, of course, Jasmine, an evil Super Bowl pin. So I keep pins on my backpack for just, I, I think it's fun. I think it's a cool display thing. So I like enamel pins and uh, I've been wanting to get a wrestling enamel pin. So uh, if you guys don't follow wrestling, my favorite wrestler of all time is CM Punk. He was recently... Um, Return to Wrestling, he wrestles for AEW now, All Elite Wrestling, which um, is the only wrestling I watch anymore. And he had put on his Instagram a message about uh, a company that was doing a special pin for his return to wrestling. So I went on their website, and the company is Patty Lapel. So in the description box down below, I will put a link to their Instagram. So um, they advertised that they were doing a special limited edition CM Punk pin. Um, and some of the proceeds were going to, I believe, Chicago Food Bank or Chicago Humane Society, which is where CM Punk is from. So wanted to get a pin to support it. I had room on my backpack. And I was looking at all their pins and they have so many cool pins. I'm a bit mad at myself. I found out they had a rounders pin that I did not order. And I totally would have because of course I'd love to represent my favorite movie on my backpack. But I grabbed a few pins and uh, I want to show you guys those. Something a bit different. So there we have, let's see if it focuses. Are you going to focus? We have a freshly squeezed pin. If you guys aren't familiar with Orange Cassidy, uh, another one of my favorite wrestlers. Apparently I cannot keep my hands still, but he's a guy who like gives a thumbs up like this. I know I'm blurry, but there he is, an Orange Cassidy pin. You might have seen me wear his shirt that has his face on it before. Um, so when I saw they had Orange Cassidy pins, Definitely wanted to grab those. And then, of course, the pin in question, the CM Punk. So they called it the First Dance, which was a parody of The Last Dance, the show on, um, I believe that aired on Showtime initially, or ESPN. It might have been ESPN, actually. Ignore the Showtime thing. But um, Punk with two X's. And, uh, yeah, so I, I nerded out, nerd out, nerded out, geeked out, grabbed some pins. We'll be putting those on the backpack, but we've been wanting to show you guys the pins before I, um, put them on my backpack. So pattylapel.com is the website. I'll put a link, like I said, to the website as well as the Instagram 
tons of cool pins. So if you're into enamel pins, they're really good quality too. I was a bit worried that they would be, you know, cheap. They shipped very fast. So, uh, Patty Lapel, if you guys like enamel pins, they're themed to wrestling and movies, check it out. So that is it for this first package. Uh, next up, I grabbed a title from Disney Movie Insiders. So Disney Movies and Disney Movie Insiders, formerly known as Disney Movie Rewards. I have a ton of points. I use Disney Movie Rewards quite often. Um, always enter my points still. This one, I believe, was 1,100 points. And it was an upgrade for me. I own the movie on Blu-ray. They added the 4K, so I figured why not upgrade? It didn't cost anything because the... The points actually include shipping. You used to have to pay shipping extra. Um, now it's just like 1,100 points gets the movie and gets it shipped to you. And that is Coco on 4K. So I will get rid of the Blu-ray and upgrade this to 4K. Cool by me because I have a ton of Pixar movies on 4K. So Disney's Coco, Disney Pixar's Coco. Next up. Um, I got this from Facebook, literally came yesterday. Just so wanted to show it. Uh, just came out this week. I got it from my Facebook guy. I actually used this envelope. This wasn't the envelope it came in, but I got some stuff for some of my buddies, Joe and Jacob. So I'm not going to show their titles. I'm sure they'll show in a video occasionally. Not occasionally, eventually. The brain's not working today, guys. It's Saturday morning. All right, Sunday morning. See, I'm losing my mind. Today is Sunday. It's October 10th. But uh, I got a title from um, Facebook. Was curious to check this one out. We didn't get a chance to see it in the movies. Like I said, it came yesterday, and we actually watched it yesterday. So we'll talk about this in an upcoming review video. And that is Escape Room Tournament of Champions. And not only did we watch the regular version of the movie, we watched the um, extended cut of the film. Well, sort of. We watched the beginning 15, 20 minutes of the extended cut in the last 15 minutes because it was all new footage. They totally changed the movie. Uh, definitely glad they stuck with the theatrical version and didn't use the extended version. Which, like I said, it's over 25 minutes of unseen footage, but it's only eight minutes longer and I personally like the um, the theatrical version better. Like I just said I think they did a better job with it. So <clears throat> Escape Room Tournament of Champions there from Facebook. Next up we have three titles from Art. Um, Art is on Instagram. I'll put a link down below to his Instagram. He reached out to me, he said, are there any titles you want from Dollar Tree? I told him a few I wouldn't mind having. He hooked me up, sent them to me. Uh, I think it he charged me whatever it cost for the movies and then shipping. So I think I paid $7, $7 for three movies and then the shipping. It beats me going around to a bunch of Dollar Trees and just getting really frustrated. So... Uh, the first title here is a John Candy movie I've never seen, the DVD of Canadian Bacon. Um, I want to say, if I remember correctly, this was his last movie, if, I think. I could be wrong there, but um, I'm so confused. Oh, what? Oh man, this is crazy. I didn't realize this was written and directed by Michael Moore, the guy who did like Roger and Me and Fahrenheit 9-11 and everything. I totally did not know that. Huh. Anyway, John Candy, Rhea Perlman, Alan Alda, Kevin Pollack, Stephen Wright, Rip Torn, all star in this movie. Uh, that blows my mind. I did not know this was written and directed by Michael Moore. Uh, I'm even more intrigued to watch this now. Uh, I didn't know he made a feature film. I thought he just did documentaries. That is crazy. Huh. You learn something new every day. This I've heard is horrible, but I, I'm very curious to see how bad it is. Um, it, it stars Lindsay Lohan and it is I Know Who Killed Me. I, like I said, I've heard bad things. Um, I think it's like a horror thriller, suspense thriller. 
rated R for grisly violence, including torture and gory images, sexuality, nudity, and language. Sounds like my kind of movie. Uh, an hour and 46 minutes. I'll try to check this one out sooner or later, but let's be honest, it's probably going to get pushed down the watch list. And then, speaking of watch lists, this movie has been on my watch list for a while. I believe this is the, I think this is the Canadian version of this. Man, I hate when they, they put the, the barcode for Dollar Tree right on the, the slip cover here. Yeah, just getting all that sticky residue all over the slip cover. Bear with me, guys. Get all this sticky residue. I'll do this. You guys don't need to watch me get sticky residue off of this. But the movie is Gloria Bell. Like I said, been on my to-watch list for a few years now since it came out. Never saw it. I want to say it's an A24 movie. Um, I believe this, like I said, is the Canadian release. Stars Julianne Moore and John Turturro. Um, is anybody else in it? Michael Sarah is in this. Brad Garrett, Rita Wilson, Sean Astin. So uh, it looked like an interesting movie. Definitely one I was curious about. And uh, we'll check this one out in the near future. So Gloria Bell, like I said, got that from Arthur. So thank you to Arthur for hooking me up. I will put his Instagram down below. Try to get the rest of this sticky residue off of that afterwards. Is there sticky residue on the plastic? Not so much. All right, next up, a package from Matt. Matt Wilson, I will put his Instagram down below as well. Matt said he sent over something for me. Oh, very cool. So this comes, like I said, from Matt. I've had this for a while. I've, I've had this package almost two months now. But um, I talked about this in a video. I said I wanted to upgrade it to Blu-ray eventually because it's a Christmas movie I do enjoy. And he sent me over a brand new copy of This Christmas. So I'll be able to get rid of my DVD now, pull that off the shelf, and uh, add the Blu-ray to the collection. So this stars Delroy Lindo, Idris Elba, Chris Brown, uh, Loretta Devine, Columbus Short, Regina King. It's a good Christmas movie, a bit of a sad story in parts, but overall a, uh, a good Christmas film. So this Christmas, thank you very much for Matt sending this over to me. I really appreciate that. Next up is a package from Juliana, who uh, is in Alaska. I didn't know she was sending anything my way. There's a note. Rick, pick these up for you as I saw one on your wish list and I saw you pick up a certain title and mention you didn't think it was on Blu-ray. It's one of my and my mom's favorite, Enjoy Julie. So thank you to Juliana for sending um, me two titles over. Let's see what we got here. I got a DVD and a Blu-ray it feels like. The DVD is, oh nice. Still haven't watched this show, but this was a season I needed. I had the seasons one, two, and three. She sent over Drunk History season four. Very cool. I did not own that. She even taped the, the discs onto the um, spindle, which sends, seems to be an issue recently where discs are coming off their spindles because they're making them so cheaply um, now. They're making these cases cheaper and cheaper. So, awesome. Thank you very much, Juliana. But she also sent over a movie that I had no idea was on Blu-ray. And she said it's one of her and her mom's favorites. So, I mean, the cast looks from, uh, fantastic in this film. I've heard it's very good. Um, and, yeah, it is on Blu-ray from Mill Creek, actually, too. This has to be an older Mill Creek Blu-ray, I would guess. Um, 2011. So yeah, 10 years ago, Mill Creek put this out. It is a film, Indian Summer, which, yeah, I was at um, Booth's Corner with Dave in one of his videos, and I had said, um, I had grabbed Indian Summer and I grabbed Loser, and I said, I didn't, you know, neither one of these are on Blu-ray, so I'm sure I'll buy them, and they'll announce the release, and I'm on Blu-ray. And people reached out, left comments on Dave's video 
messaged me and said, it's on Blu-ray. I said, okay, well, I'll watch the DVD and if it's really good, I'll upgrade it. But Juliana said it is really good and she upgraded it for me. So very, um, very much appreciated. Thank you very much to Juliana for sending over uh, Indian Summer and Drunk History Season 4 to add to the collection. So last up is from Bradley. Bradley has an Instagram. He said, um, I, I had asked him if he wanted to be mentioned. He said yes, and he's going to start working on his review Instagram. So he wants me to link that. So down below, Bradley's Instagram will be um, down below. So we did a trade, and then I bought a few titles from Bradley. So what I'll do, I'll show the titles I bought from Bradley first. The stuff I traded to him was stuff that was on my eBay store. Um, so it wasn't stuff for my collection, but what I did is I traded him stuff I had for sale for stuff I wanted uh, in my collection. And he ended up, um, the package showed up like three days later, which was crazy uh, considering the package I sent him took like a week and a half. Post office guys, it's gonna get really bad the next couple months with shipping time. So don't get mad at people. Just have faith that it'll show up eventually. So I bought a few titles from him. The first title that I purchased, um, I actually bought four titles from him. Two of them were for a coworker of mine. So those weren't here. They're already delivered to the coworker who's very happy. So I bought myself this because I did not own this on 4K. I really want the Steelbook, but the Steelbook's extremely out of print. Um, which makes me angry because I should have bought it at Walmart back in the day. If only I would have known I should have bought multiples because they sell for like two and three hundred dollars now. But the original movie, I needed to upgrade to 4K. Hopefully I'll get the sequel for a good price at some point. Hopefully I get the Steelbook for a good price at some point, which would be even better. But it is Ghostbusters, the 1984 film on 4K there. Uh, like I said, wanted to upgrade this to 4K. I do have the Digibook with both movies that I'll keep until I get the second one. But Ghostbusters on 4K, wanted to add that to the collection. And then the other title that I bought from him is another wishlist title, a movie I absolutely love. Um, probably one of my top five, top ten A24 movies. I would say probably top five if I thought about it. Really want to revisit this one. I really love this film um, quite a bit. Directed by Sean Baker, who was actually interviewed in the um, Movie Hoarders documentary I did behind my head. That one right there. He was interviewed in it as well, which was pretty cool because I really loved his movie. Uh, this movie here, which stars Willem Dafoe and then um, Kale Blandry Jones... Brooklyn Kimberly Prince is the main actress in this movie, Young Girl. But the movie is The Florida Project. I really, really enjoyed this movie. And it's not going to be for everyone. Uh, it's basically about a group of kids who live in a um, motel called the Magic Castle, which is a real place in Florida. Uh, Adam the Woo did a filming location video of this movie. Um, like I said, I was a big fan of this movie. Really good. Really well done. Um, Willem Dafoe's like the head maintenance guy. And Brooklyn Prince is the young girl who's the main uh, character of the film. Just talks about a summer of these kids living in this motel. And um, like I said, it's not necessarily a movie for everyone. But I really thoroughly enjoyed this film. And I'm glad I own it in my collection. It's been on my wish list for quite a while. So thank you to Bradley for selling those to me. But what did I get in a trade? First off, he packaged these so well. Um, there were four movies? Yeah, four movies. I traded for three um, titles. And the reason we did three for four is um, I sold him, or I traded him a Amazing Spider-Man 2 special edition with the magnetic case. There was a Spider-Man Far From Home that came with a figure brand new sealed and then a sealed copy of a triple feature with a slipcover that I believe is out of print. At least the slipcover is out of print. So traded him um, four movies for those three. 
The first one is a wish list title. Uh, I'll probably have to replace this case, but everything looked good. I checked everything. Uh, this movie was also on my wish list as it's a very fun Disney film. And as a movie called Sky High, which stars, oh man, um, Kurt Russell, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Kelly Preston, Michael Angarano, Danielle Panabaker, also um, oh, the kid who was in Zola and he was in, oh man, he's in Succession, Nicholas, Nicholas somebody, Nicholas, this guy right here. We're going to put his picture there. I hope I remember to do that. And his name's going to be up here. Nicholas, dude. Nicholas, it's not Nick Stoll. Nick Braun? Nick Braun. I think Nicholas Braun. I don't, there's, there might not be anything here. I might be insane. But Sky High on Blu-ray. That had been on my wish list for a while. Uh, this movie here, Bridget talked about wanting to revisit. She liked it. She said that I should check it out as a comedy fan. Uh, it stars Leslie Mann, Jim Carrey, and Ewan McGregor. And it is a film called I Love You, Philip Morris. I've never seen it. Um, she said it's, it's very funny. It's really good. So I Love You, Philip Morris. I figured why not add it to the collection. He had it available to trade. Um, next up is a film that uh, I've never seen. But it stars one of my favorite modern actors. A guy I've talked about on this channel quite a bit. I believe the runtime's yeah, 2 hours and 42 minutes. It's another A24 movie. Uh, but it stars Riley Keough, Sasha Lane, and my boy Shia LaBeouf. And as a film called American Honey. I wanted to watch this when I had Showtime for that 6 months. Um, but just couldn't get to it. Like I said, it is 2 hours and 42 minutes. I'm very curious about it, but like I said, it has it has Shia in it, so it's one of a few movies of his I have not seen. So American Honey wanted to add to the collection to check out. And then the last title here is actually a Criterion. Uh, Criterion, it was on my wish list. Just not one that I really wanted to pay the 20 bucks for in a sale because I really did enjoy the movie. I just don't know how often I would rewatch it, but... Um, in case I do want to rewatch it, it's not available on Hulu, which is where we watched it. Wanted to see it. It's a foreign film. Um, I'm trying to remember what language the movie is in. Is it French? I want to say the movie's French, but I could be wrong. But it's a fantastic film, and it is Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Uh, a very slow burn film, but just one that is beautiful. One I was curious where it was going. Um, it's basically about a woman who gets hired to paint a wedding portrait of a girl. And uh, things ensue. So we'll leave it at that. But Portrait of a Lady on Fire on Criterion Blu-ray. So big shout out to Bradley. Uh, link down below to his Instagram, his review Instagram. And um, for the awesome trade... So four titles to add to my collection for three I was looking to sell was awesome. And then a couple titles uh, that I've been looking to add to my collection as well, um, which he gave me a great deal on and shipped very quickly. So big shout out to Bradley. Also shout outs to Art um, for grabbing those Dollar Tree titles, Juliana and Matt for sending a few titles along to me as well. So thank you guys. Uh, also, check out Patty Lapel uh, for enamel pins. Link down below. So we're going to do this here. here. And as always, guys, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Leave comments. Let me know what you guys thought about the pickups here in this video. Have you seen any of these things I have not seen, specifically Canadian Bacon, I Know Who Killed Me, Gloria Bell, Indian Summer, let me know. I love you, Philip Morris, American Honey, I haven't seen. So let me know what you guys thought. Also be sure, check out the description box where you can find links not only to, to Patty Lapel where I got these awesome pins from, but also uh, I will put Art's Instagram, I'll put Matt's Instagram, 
I don't think I have Juliana's Instagram. If I do, I'll put it in there and Bradley's review Instagram. But you can find links to my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter down below, as well as Letterboxd, where I rate and review all the movies that I watch. Uh, also, my eBay store, Amazon wish list. Uh, if anybody else wants to do trades, you see something on my eBay store, feel free to reach out. Uh, if you guys have stuff that's on my wish list, either on Amazon or on Blu-ray.com, uh, I have my wish list on there. Let me know. We'll try to work a trade out as long as it's fair. Um, I have no issue doing that. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, until next time, who's down to movie?